Julie, welcome to the show. How Thank are you? Thank you so much. I'm doing very well. I got to give you a hug. I already told you. That's Absolutely. how we do it. Absolutely. Bring it in. Bring it in. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. I thank you for having me. Yeah, thank you. I've seen you uh, show off your poetry a few times, and I knew right away. I was like, I need you to be one of the first guests on this show for November. So thank you for coming on. Of course, thank you. Cool. So I actually don't know the, the full story of how you got into poetry, and uh, you know what inspired you to do so. So please share that with us. Absolutely. So it's a long story now. It's um. So I first started writing poems when I was in first grade. It's a really funny story about my first crush and how I wrote a poem about his, how his eyes were so green. They looked like a toad. But anyway, <laughs> and then um, it went on after that. And I started, I, I never really had the confidence to take a creative writing class. Mm -hmm. So when I finally worked up the confidence to do that, it was years of struggling with my mental health, especially during my teenage years. But I kept very, very detailed logs and journal entries of my thoughts and mm. feelings, et cetera. And then I started dabbling into poetry a little on my own. Very I started cool. reading more. I started studying it. And then I actually started, <clears throat> I took my first creative writing class at Stony Brook University. So, um, because I was going there for undergrad, of course. So, I dabbled in each genre and I fell in love with writing memoir. So I'm, I have an entire memoir in poetry written, Very which cool. started off as prose and then came into poetry because I was very highly encouraged to mm -hmm. write in that genre. So I have, um, I have this manuscript, which has been written um, over a span of at least like five years in and out of classrooms. Wow. And it's like my child. Cool. And I know later on, later after this, you're going to be performing, you're going to be oh, yeah, giving absolutely. us a few of your po poems and we're excited mm -hmm. to hear them. But t can you talk more about how poetry has like changed your life as a brain oh to help you God. get through okay, those dark so times? I have a great line. So each moment on the path of my recovery can be traced to the feeling I knew I needed to write like hell. Wow. So <laughs> it's the big one. So, um, Putting words to the page is just like such a healing form of expression. So it's like the just the ability to see a word on the page and to create an image from that is what I wow. most admire about the genre of poetry. And it was very, very difficult for me to get into that because a lot of the way I can think sometimes is very abstract. Mm -hmm. Um but I was encouraged to look into all five senses, and that also go. It ties into a lot of things for me, like being more mindful and um, looking, really looking at all five senses. You wow. know, I think the really fascinating thing about that going along the lines is kind of like when someone is having a panic attack, someone will tell you like, okay, pick out one thing that you can see, pick out one thing that you can feel, pick out that one thing you can like hear, et cetera. And it brings you back to and the present moment, brings, would you say? It brings me back to the present mm. moment when I'm having, because I do experience panic attacks, but it's also a very large part of the genre itself of poetry, writing things down. I've been taught to write about each of the five senses and to focus on that and to focus on incorporating those senses into the images on the page. Wow. That's impressive. That's really cool. I think you do that and you know people are in for a treat later to check out your your poetry. Absolutely. But you do a great job and even you at when you're not reading your poetry and your poems, you have this great energy about you're always smiling at people and you're bringing that presence not just when you're writing poetry or reading your poems but in everyday life. So Thank and, you. You know, we all have our good days and our bad days and Yeah. You know, so we but you do a good job at that. Thank I appreciate you. That. I know I try to be I try to be a ray of light <laughs> to, you know, anyone who I come into contact with. You know, I'm just like, hello, you are having a bad day. I do this at work. I do this mm -hmm. in everyday life. I'm just like, I really want to make you laugh or make Good. you smile or just cheer. You know, well, that's up, all what we're all about, the people's podcast. You know, and as a speaker, that's what I do too, is when I go into the schools and I'm t talking with it's at a school or a library or an organization, mm -hmm. so I'm trying to bring those good energy, the good positive vibes, no matter where I am and no matter what topic. 
Exactly. We're talking about. So in a little while, you're going to be sharing some poems and also some more about yourself. But I appreciate you coming on. And I can't wait to hear more about uh, your story and also mm -hmm. your great poems. So thanks again. No, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs>